So pag-usapan natin yung latest news about sa pag-reverse ng decision ng Japan government or ng Prime Minister about sa mga inbound flights to Japan. Hi guys, this is Alan. Welcome back to this channel, Gaijin World. Okay, so may article na lumabas ngayon and ito yung sinasabi sa article na to, Japan reverses halt of inbound flight bookings after criticism. Kasi nga, nung nag-declare sila na magta-travel ban uli dito ng one month, ay pinakiusapan nila lahat ng mga flights na mag-cancel muna or mag-halt ng mga papunta dito sa Japan. So ngayon, ito may bagong news ngayon. Ito, basahin natin. The Japanese government on Thursday backpedaled on its plan to completely halt bookings for inbound international flights this month in the wake of criticism that the measure against the Omicron variant of the coronavirus goes too far. Prime Minister Fumio Kishida admitted that Transport Ministry's announcement the previous day had caused public confusion, telling reporters he instructed officials to adequately take into account people's wishes to travel home. So yun na nga, dahil uh, kinukonsider din naman ng Prime Minister yung mga papunta dito sa Japan ng mga pamilya na gustong makasama yung kanilang ibang pamilya dito ay ni-reverse nila yung kanilang decision na magpapasok ng mga inbound flight papuntang Japan. Under the measure, Japanese citizens and foreign residents would not have been able to return until next year unless they already had reservations. The government's top spokesperson or spokesman, Chief Cabinet Secretary Hirokazu Matsuno, told a press conference the ministry has withdrawn its request to airlines not to take new reservations for inbound flights. Following the move, all Nippon Airways and Japan Airlines said they are preparing to take some bookings in time for the New Year holiday. The ministry will consider allowing reservations within the daily cap of 3,500 people arriving from overseas according to a person familiar with the matter. So, ibig sabihin, itutuli pa rin nila yung pagpapapasok ng piling-piling visa, okay? Dito, papunta sa Japan at itutuli nil nga nila yung ceiling na 3,500 people na pagdating dito sa Japan na galing sa mga overseas. Matsuno, meanwhile, said the government will consider shortening the 8-month period between a person receiving their second COVID-19 vaccine shot and becoming eligible for a booster shot based on changes in the infection situation, preparations by local authorities, and vaccine supply. Booster shots began being administered to medical personnel on Wednesday with the rest of population set to gain them next year. The Omicron variant has a large number of mutations and scientists fear it may be more transmissible than previous strains of the coronavirus or be able to evade immunity provided by vaccines. The World Health Organization has designated it's a variant of concern, warning it is likely to spread globally and presents a very high risk. And sa video na to, pag-usapan natin yung latest update tungkol sa bagong travel restriction dito sa Japan and ang ating references yung sa Japan Embassy in the Philippines na website. So, tignan natin kung ano yung mga notes or yung mga bagong updates sa kanilang website. Okay, so ito yung Japan Embassy in the Philippines website. So, makikita natin dyan na may mga red notices, important notices, kung saan ay nag-declare na naman sila ng suspension para sa mga babiyahe papunta dito sa Japan. Okay, basahin natin yung notes. So, number one, visa application with screening certificate and issuance of visa are not available from November 30 to December 31, 2021 due to the entry and visa restrictions by Japanese government. Application and issuance of screening certificate at Japanese ministries agencies are also temporarily suspended at this stage. So dahil yan sa inanunsyo ng Prime Minister ng Japan na isarado muna uli ang border ng Japan dahil para maprotektahan nila yung pagpasok ng Omicron dito sa Japan. Number two, the effects of issued visas based on the screening certificate visa with remarks M19 on the visa sticker are temporarily suspended. Pati yung may mga na-issuehan na ng screening certificate ay, ay suspended po ang pagpunta dito. Therefore, holders of this visa cannot travel to Japan during the period mentioned in number one. 
Okay, number three, types of visa which do not require screening certificate can be applied and remain effective after November 30. Although temporary visitor visa for the purpose of visiting relatives will be issued only to spouse child of Japanese national, spouse child of permanent residence, or spouse child of long-term resident. For details, see the types of visa. Okay, so ibig lang sabihin ito, yung mga trainee visa, student visa, working visa related visas na kinakailangan ng screening certificate ay suspended muna ang pagpasok dito sa Japan. Pero yung mga visa na hindi naman kailangan ng screening certificate, katulad ng mga visiting relatives na ini-issue para lamang sa may mga asawa at anak ng Japanese national, asawa at anak ng permanent residents. At yung may mga long-term resident visa dito, yung kanilang asawa at anak, ay possible pang makapasok dito after November 30. Entry and visa restrictions by Japanese government may frequently change, taking into consideration the COVID-19 infection situation and others. The Embassy of Japan will update information on this website when visa arrangements change. And dahil nga sa temporarily suspended ang pagpasok ng mga foreigners dito sa Japan, all Philippine people who enter Japan need to acquire single entry visas in advance whether they have COE or multi-entry visa issued before the pandemic ay temporarily suspended muna. So yung from number 1 to number 3 below are temporarily suspended. Ito yung may mga temporary visitors for business. Ayan, di ba kasi inopen na nila yan last month and holders of Certificate of Eligibility may apply for visa. Yung may mga hawak ng uh, COE for... So, yun. Yung mga visitors dito sa Japan with regards to business ay temporarily suspended. Screening certificates for student and technical intern trainee ay temporarily suspended din. Then, yung screening certificate na photocopy, kailangan isubmit kasama ng visa application ay suspended din. Para naman sa application for visa categories such as spouse of Japanese national, spouse child or of permanent resident, long-term resident except number 3 and medical and others does not require screening certificate. Yan yung nabanggit natin kanina na possible pang makapasok dito sa Japan. Number 5, for permanent resident who failed to end to re-enter to Japan within the validity of free entry pyramid, special arrangement to issue a visa is still available as ever. Please see the page. Ayan. So, naka-staple din, nakalagay din dito sa kanilang website kung ano-ano yung mga visa na suspended temporarily. Like yung visa for tourism, syempre hindi pa rin pwede. Visit friends or distant relatives. Visa for visiting relatives naman ay depende yan. Okay? Kung yun nga yung mga nabanggit natin ay nagpo-fall kayo doon sa spouse, child, Japanese national, long-term resident, or permanent resident. Then, sa mga temporarily suspended, isa din dun yung visa for commercial purpose and yung mga gustong attend ng conference by private, public organization, temporarily suspended din yan. Then yung visit relatives, friends invited by US military personnel or SOFA status, suspended din po yan. And yung pag-issue nga ng certificate of eligibility para sa mga student, technical intern, and other related working visa ay temporarily suspended. Suspended din yung visa for transit and yung visa for medical stay. Yung mga ibang nakalagay dito like yung Nikkei Jin, basta related sa Japanese, kung meron kang Japanese blood. Visa for Filipino parents of Japanese Filipino children. Ayan, i-consult nyo lang yung embassy in advance. And yung mga single entry tourist visa for Philippine nationals joining package tours organized ay temporarily suspended. And suspended din po yung mga may application for multiple entry visa for tourist and business purpose and cultural or intellectual figures. They are all temporarily suspended until December 31, 2021. So ayan, hindi magandang balita dahil nga sa Omicron scare na dumalawak na naman ang effect nito sa mga iba't ibang bansa. Kaya na una na yung Japan na magsara na naman ang kanilang border. So kung titignan naman natin yung website ng Rally Tours, nakalagay din dyan yung Japanese government suspended the new entry Japan for foreigner on November 30 and the effect of issued visa with screening certificate is suspended until December 31. 
So medyo mas clear din yung kanilang mga details dito. Kung gusto nyo pang mas makakahanap ng iba pang reference, ay check nyo rin tong website ng Rally Tours. So naka-indicate dito na yung mga visa category na nabanggit natin kanina ay halos lahat suspended maliban dun sa visiting relatives. Basta nagpo-fall kayo dun sa condition na kung ikaw ay relative, may relative dito sa Japan na Japanese or permanent residence, spouse, parent, child ay pwedeng mag-apply. And then yung long-term residence din ay spouse, parent, child ay pwede ding mag-apply. And hindi na kailangan ng copy of screening certificate. And nakalagay din dyan yung mga nabanggit natin kanina para mas malinaw sa inyo na suspended po yung mga nasa blue, yung SOFA Business Conference Multiple Tourist Transit and yung may mga COE na Technical Intern Training Specified Skilled Worker Students lahat yan ay suspended starting November 30. Pero kung ang inyong status of residence ay nagpo-fall sa limang klase ng residence na ito, yung spouse, child of Japanese national, instructor, professor, so mayroon silang nakalagay dyan na mga conditions if the accepting institution in Japan has vacancies and will be difficulty to carry out their educational activities without fill up vacancies, it has to submit the document which is written that fill up of vacancies is necessary to resolve their situation and there's no need to provide copy of screening certificate. And yung may mga diplomat, official, medical, designated activities, no need to submit for screening certificate then. And para dun sa may mga long-term resident, resident status, ay consult nyo yung Embassy of Japan. Then, Certificate of Eligibility na mayroong 1584 written in red. Yan, consult din kayo sa kanila. So, ayan guys, I hope may clarifications or nag-clarify ang ibang mga issues dito sa video na to. Kung may mga katanungan kayo, please feel free to comment down below. At kung gustuhan nyo itong video na to, please like this video and yun nga, i-share nyo yung mga opinions niyo about dito sa latest news dito sa Japan travel ban and uh, travel ban restriction. Ayan. So, thank you so much for watching and kung nakapag-subscribe ka na, maraming maraming salamat sa patuloy na panunood dito sa aming YouTube channel and sa mga hindi pa nakapag-subscribe, mag-subscribe na kayo and hit nyo yung notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa mga latest news na mga nangyayari dito sa Japan. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check our YouTube homepage para makita nyo yung iba pa namin mga playlist. Thank you so much again. This is Alan. I will see you on our next video and please be safe and huwag tayong magkasakit. Bye!